Hi guys, I um, just wanted to do a quick video here, um, <clears throat> something that, that I find uh, people maybe don't realise how easy is, it is to control within WordPress, um, but it's this concept, concept of li linking to uh, media files, um, uh, you know, pictures or videos or PDFs or uh, things like that. Um, for instance, I have a, a client who is um, a restaurant owner. They have a few different restaurants, and from time to time, they want to update uh, the menus on their website. Um, and the way we we always generally work it is that we create um, a link within their website. So it might be a menu item, it might be a link within a page, it could be a little short code that we use, which creates a nice, uh, pretty button. You know, view our lunch menu here. Um, <coughs> somebody clicks on that, they get redirected basically to the effectively to the original file and um, the download of that um, which in the case of a menu is normally a PDF file um, but the the concept is exactly the same whether it be a PDF um, a piece of music a photo uh, and so on um, and the way it works is is literally all throughout this it's all controlled through this media area within WordPress so if you cl either click on media or click on library this will literally bring up an entire list of all the files, um, your image files, videos, PDFs, and so on, that have been uploaded to your website. So you can see here <clears throat> on my alexfleck.com website, we have six pages worth of files. Um, now, this is quite a new website. Um, uh, the, the main website, the Zenith Design Studios, uh, dot com website, um, which is my design consultancy, has something like 46 pages of, of different files, you know, videos and uh, links and images that have been uploaded over time. Um, but basically, they're all, they're all held within this media library. So if you say you've, you've got 46 pages and hundreds of images and you can't remember um, exactly where your image is, again, the... the an important point to, th to kind of consider here is the fact that every time you upload a new piece of media um, just through this little add new media uh, button um, it's, it's a good idea to kind of name the file well, firstly in terms of search engine optimization it's a good idea to name the file something relevant to what the file is but also just for your own reference it's a good idea um, to basically name the file something that you're going to remember it by. So you'll see here I've got you know Alex Fleck Consultancy lo Logo Login, WordPress Controls Overview, Alex Fleck Web Consultant, WordPress Blog Post and so on, uh, Themezilla, uh, Short Codes, things like that. Um, but basically it, it just means that if I've got 50 odd pages of, of files I don't have to kind of guess you know, roughly how long ago I uploaded those files. I can just go to the media um, and say, you know, WordPress and search for the media. Um, and this will bring up uh, basically a list of all the things that I've referenced to WordPress. So there, I've whitt whittled it down to five uh, images. Um, so that's, that's the first thing. Um, you know, if, if you are uploading new media, make sure you name it uh, something that's relevant, um, which is also good. It means that... Um, you know, search engines can index your your image files, and then you can come up in Google Images, um, and be found for those as well. Um, but say you know if if you upload a new piece of uh, media, um, basically every piece of media is, has assigned uh, a URL, which is down here. If you click into the media, this little bit at the bottom, file URL, that's actually just the web address of where that file is held. So, for instance, if I create a page, um, say we go into one of our pages, I'm going to copy this URL. Uh, so on a Mac, it's Command-C to copy, or right-click and copy. Um, then I'm going to go into a page. Um, say you've got a page that you're writing a blog post on, and you want to link off to that file. Um, say it's about Alex. What we're going to do is we're going to say... Uh, oh, there's no content in this page. <laughs> Typical. Uh, I'll go to the next one. Basically, what we want to say is, you know, say we want to link a, a, a piece of text to that specific image. Um, say in the background experience uh, page. So, what we'll do is, we'll select an area of text. Say we want it just to be a, a few words. Um, 
select an area, highlight it, go up to this little link button here, click the link, uh, paste the link of the file that we, we had just um, been in the media gallery looking at, um, then we can title it uh, WordPress Overview. We can designate that it is to open in a new uh, window so people can still stay on the website but they get opened into a new window just to view that file. Once you add the link, you'll see it normally underlines it here in WordPress. Um, but say we just want to preview the change of that just to see how it all works. If you go to the page then, just take a wee second to load. <clears throat> if you scroll down, you'll notice there um, the loyal Apple fan uh, text sentence um, has been highlighted. And you'll see when I hover over that, uh, the little title WordPress overview, which is what I titled it when I was linking um, the file, uh, comes up. So if we click on that, what should happen is it should open in a new page and it should literally just be a link to uh, the image that I had uh, lifted the URL, which is just the web address uh, from the media gallery for. So if I click this, There you see it's actually within this theme. It's actually quite a good little feature. Within this theme, what it's done is it just opens it in a little pop-up window, which is perfect. Um, now, based on the size of my screen, it'll open it larger or smaller. Um, this is quite a low low resolution screen, so it's quite small. Um, but I can zoom in, have a wee look. Um, but there you go. That basically opens um, the link in a new window, um, and that's kind of how you link to images, media of any sort, really, um, throughout the WordPress system. So any Basically, any file that you upload will have one of those URLs, which um, I'd shown you there. Um, and by using that, if you go into the library, by using those URLs, you can create all sorts of internal links from within your website. Um, or you can link off to other websites by, by using the same concept. But there, again, it's, it's this URL as you go into an individual piece of media. Copy and paste that into... Um, an area of text or a simple link, or you could paste it into, you know, Facebook or Twitter if you wanted to share directly from there, um, and so on. So it's a great way to share out um, the content from in, within your website. It's a great, great way to create internal links within your website, which is also a good thing for uh, search engine optimization. Um, but it's it's just something I find a lot of clients are maybe a wee bit confused about. Um, they're not sure how to link to media. Say, you know, oh, I've got a, you know. For instance, my, my client who's a, a restaurant owner, they've got a new menu they want to upload. Well, how, how do I get people to open the menu? Well, that's how you basically upload it to the media gallery. You take the link of the menu and you add it into whatever page or, or button uh, that you need to. Um, and depending on your website, you know you, you would have uh, the availability of different uh, short codes and things like that, um, whereby you could create a button. <clears throat> Just show you that very, very quickly at the end here. Uh, say I'm in a, a post and I want to create a button. I use different short codes. You you know, you, there's hundreds and thousands of different options out there for doing this. Um, the Zilla short code I use is quite a good one. So if you basically drop down, click button, it'll open up a little box. Actually, that's playing about a wee bit. Um, I'll go to this one, open up this. Um, I'll select button. Actually, I'll select button with link. Okay, and then I'm going to insert that into the post. You see all this kind of code comes up. It just takes a wee second to kind of get your bearings with this. Um, but basically, if you read it like this, button, link, URL, and there's little quotation marks. What you want to do is you want to paste the link that you want to link off to within those quotation marks, like so. Just copy and paste in. Target, don't need to worry about that. Style, don't need to worry about that. Title, um, don't need to worry about that just at the moment, and then button text here. So I'm gonna say visit my WordPress um, overview. Okay, now uh, again, as always, you can either use this little preview changes button or you can update the post automatically. But say we use the preview changes. This should open the page for us. Nope, there we go. You see it's popped this button in here. So if I click this, it should link off to that image that uh, I'd shown you earlier. And that's basically how it's done. Now, that doesn't look so hot. Um, I probably want to space out these uh, 
you know the paragraph there and so on but that's very much a uh, kind of standard thing you just go back into the post and hit the return button to space it out a bit more maybe if you wanted to align that over to the right you could you know you can align it just by going say into the post highlighting um, the image maybe actually we'll just do it centralized and then we'll add in a little space there and we'll just update that <clears throat> Just taking a wee while to update here. There we go. And then I'll visit the post just to see how it looks. And there you go, it's a bit more spaced out. You've got your button centralized, it still works. Um, and that's pretty much it. So hopefully that's been uh, of some help. <clears throat> it just means that from now on, if you're uploading media to your WordPress gallery, you know how to link to it. Um, that URL is key to everything really. Um, so hopefully that is of help. If you have any questions or queries, uh, scroll down to the bottom of this page and there should be uh, a little comment box, something like this. Feel free to ask the questions. I'll do my best to help out. Okay, thanks.